Hey guys, how you doing? I have my new uh, toy. Well, it's not my toy, it's my brother's toy. It's gonna go in his machine. It's the Zota Gaming uh, GeForce RTX 2080. Now, I, I kind of, I, I kind of advise him to go for the Radeon um, 5700 XT. But uh, I spoke to a friend of mine. His name is Broadly Carpetman. And he used to work with me and he said to me, you know what, don't go for that graphics card. Check the benchmarks and get the um, 2080. Now, I was going to go for, the, I did check the benchmarks and this is way above the, the Radeon uh, 5700 XT. However, the reason I went for this one instead of the TI, because there's a TI version of this apparently, uh, is that because is that you only get 20% difference for double the price. So I, I didn't feel it needed that much anyway. And... and um, I think this is more than enough. So I'm going to unbox this right now. I'm quite excited about this, to be honest, because this is a very good graphics card. Even my brother's excited. He's, I think, more excited than I am. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a look what's inside the box. Do you know what? To be honest with you, this box is absolutely shockingly huge. So like compared to this, that's a motherboard. Look at that. Obviously, the graphics card will be much bigger as well. It's got three fans. Um, but this is one of the best fans. Now, now the reason I went for, I asked him to go for, for Zotac uh, gaming graphics cards is because this is the only graphics card out there that uh, has five years warranty. And um, all the other graphics are like Asus and, and um, Gigabyte and EVGA. Who, who else is there? MSI? Make graphics yeah, cards? MSI make yeah, MSI. They all got graphics cards that are uh, three years. Uh, warranty with this one you get five years so if you do overclock it which we're not going to can i overclock your graphics card yeah, sure, <laughs> that's, that's a lie anyway this is one of the fastest ones out there anyway so here we go what's inside you know what I, i'm quite uh, surprised normally with like asus and and all the other brands they put like i don't know transformers pictures and all sorts of other uh, crazy uh, graphics but this one's just very very plain just just standard um, design, which is cool because it shows that, you know, they don't care about. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Animation right there. That's nice. I, I, I kind of I don't want to get the light in, but I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's oh, some. It moves. It moves. It moves. Yeah. All right. So, inside the box, let's have a look. Ta -da. That's your graphics card right now. That's it. Now what's in here? Okay, so you got like a, an envelope that says uh, just, you know, just more specifications about the graphics card. You get the quick installation guide and a thank you, thank you card. So installation, thank you, and just a specifications about the actual um, uh, graphics card itself. Put that aside. Let's have a look what's in here. Woo! Ketchup and mustard cables. What's going on here? More ketchup and mustard cables. I'm not going to use those. Um, is that Rolex? Sorry? Is that Rolex? Yeah, it is. It's Rolex. People. That's for old fashioned people. Right. And that's it. The rest is just um, foam packaging. That's the graphics card. That's the baby right here. It's a massive box for this. Uh... Right. Let's take a look. Did you see what I just did? No. Good, good, good. And you didn't either, alright? Okay, so. Woo! Here it goes, baby. Three fans. These are supposed to be silent fans. Um, there's there's three vari variants of the of the Zotac gamer gamer card. There's the AMP version. There's the AMP Extreme version, and there is the AMP Max. This is the normal AMP. Um, the reason I went for this graphics card is because I want to go for the Extreme. It's got a higher clock speed. The uh, Extreme, however, it's four millimeters longer than what my case can support. So unfortunately, 
I couldn't get that one, so I had to go for this one. Um, now the good thing about this, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, is it's got RGB lighting right here, so you have Zota Gaming uh, light, light up. On the back of it, you have your um, information about what card it is, and obviously the chipset right there. I would have would have liked a more of a nicer um, plate, back plate, but however, this is this is 620 pounds, so it's not one of those really, really expensive ones made by uh, by ROG or anyone of, of that sort. It's got the uh, RGB lighting here, so this is a cable that goes for the RGB connection right there. Now, with regards to connection, it's got uh, three display ports, right? Three display ports, one HDMI, and one USB-C for future VR connectivity. Now, I have a 4K monitor, uh, 32 inch, and um, I might be connecting by USB, I'm not sure yet. I'll double check which one's got the better um, resolution or, or the better, or the easier really. So it's not it's not gonna make a difference to be honest. It is what it is, but it is a two, two, is it two U? What's, what's two? Two, um. um. See, when you, when you work in the server, in a, in a data center, and in the server rack, each one of those slots is called a U. So that's why I said two U, because I thought that might be a U, but it's not a U. Something else, isn't it? Two slot, whatever it is. But that's what it is. So um, uh, it's got the power connection here, one eight pin and one six pin. And that's it, really. I'm looking forward to installing this. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link to the product in the description below. Have a look, see what you think of it. Let me know if you're using this, if you've overclocked it, if you've gone up, uh, if you've done anything crazy with these graphics cards. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.